Looking Inside the Stainless Sensation, the most incredible story in automotive history by Alex Michael. Like, um, how much, hold on, I have to get them. Like, how much was your involvement or was that something that was just done in the States um, with the differences of like the owner's manuals? You know, like first you had this one here for 81 and then it got to that one from 82 and then there was even a third one which i didn't even know about until like a few months ago there was another one for 83 which is also different we, even from the 82. we mere mortals in uh don murray had nothing to do whatsoever with one what went on in support of uh the the cut the, the aftermarket um, yeah, uh, we had no involvement other than providing the base data that um, Dick Brown and his people would have uh, developed that all that stuff from. Um, no, we had no involvement in it at all. In fact, I I didn't even know there were that many copies till you you <laughs> just shown me. Yeah, I also it took me some time to find out, you know, like that there really were like one for 81 82 and one for 83 i'm afraid it's a reflection of um the way in which the us end behaved as if there was a limitless pot of money yeah because why do it you know it's not necessary no other car manufacturer i've ever worked for did it on an annual basis you update of course yeah, you know, uh, but you do that through uh, uh, addendums. Um, that was the way I was used to seeing it. But um, we did, unlike the British end, where many of the team that were influential came from a smaller company background. Albeit, we had far too many ex Chrysler guys uh, <laughs> in Dunbar. Um, uh, you know, Dick Brown came from a big company background. He came from Master. Yeah. John team all came from the General Motors background. So um, there was a difficulty, I think, in uh, relating to how you do things and, and how you have to look after the money uh, when you are a, a genuine specialist car manufacturer. Yeah. You know, uh, Reliant Motor Company was the same size as DeLorean. We had two and a half thousand employees. We built, including the cars that we sent to Turkey as CKD, you know, knocked down to be built over there. Um, we built twenty thousand vehicles a year. You know, we were we were nearly identical to <laughs> um, to Reliant. Lotus wasn't. Lotus made a thousand cars a year. Yeah. But you no, know, it, it it was far easier for me i think to relate to the type of operation that delorean should have been and could have been uh than than many others and i'm not being critical because it's all down to the background that you came from yeah of course there was a man who had a dream you see his name on the back of your car oh!